Fairchild is the leading supplier of ignition IGBTs, ignition driver ICs, and ignition modules, a designer's first choice for automotive ignition systems. Hi, I'm John Butchko, automotive technical marketing engineer. Fairchild is proud of its 25-year history producing five generations of ignition electronics. Fairchild delivers a comprehensive suite of ignition products from discrete components, IGBTs and ICs, partially integrated smart IGBTs, to fully integrated igniter modules. We continue to develop new and innovative solutions for automakers' most challenging ignition application requirements. We offer an application board that allows customers to evaluate and develop their coil designs using Fairchild ignition components. The application board features the FAN 1100 driver IC, FGD 3040G2 ignition IGBT, as well as all the required passive components. This basic ignition design can be tested with your coil and ignition system for evaluation and refinement. Please contact your local sales office to request a product application board. We've built this demo board with the EcoSpark 2 FGD 3040G2 Ignition IGBT, FAN 1100 Driver IC, and Edge Connector to interface with your application. The FGD 3040G2 is optimized to control the load current through the ignition coil, features an integrated clamp structure that limits the maximum voltage on the primary side, and minimizes energy losses while charging the coil. The IGBT is driven by the FAN 1100 IC. This IC controls the turn on and turn off of the IGBT, sense and limits the current of the IGBT, limits the dwell time to protect the IGBT and coil, and provides a soft shutdown in case of an overdwell condition. To evaluate your application using the demo board, you will need the following. A battery or battery simulator, a pulse generator, an oscilloscope, one or more current probes, a high voltage probe, and a standard voltage probe. Functionality can be readily customized by changing some of the components. You should consult RD576 for more details. Now, I'll demonstrate how to connect the demo board to the battery, signal ECU, and coil. Connect the coil to the spark plug. Connect the primary return wire from the ignition coil to pin one collector on the board. Then connect the positive terminal of the battery or battery simulator to pin two VBAT. Connect the positive terminal of the signal generator to pin 3, input, input high. Connect the negative terminal of the signal generator to pin 4, input low. Connect the negative terminal of the battery to ground pin. Connect the ground of the spark plug to the negative terminal of the battery. Connect the primary power of the ignition coil to the positive terminal of the battery. The last step is to configure the signal generator, such as voltage levels, duty ratio, and frequency. Please carefully study the application note AN8208 and reference design RD576 to understand all the details of the ignition system prior to attempting operation of the demo board in your application. Now that the board is connected, we can begin testing and evaluation of the application coil. First, we need to turn on the voltage supply or connect the battery. And turn on the signal generator to activate the ignition system. We will start with a pulse width of 2.2 milliseconds and a frequency of 16.7 Hz. Adjust the oscilloscope to capture the ignition waveforms and confirm that the system is operating properly. When the system is operating properly, you will see the input high signal received by the driver IC that activates the ignition IGBT. The IGBT turns on and begins charging the coil primary as evidenced by the rising coil current. Once the input low signal is received by the IC, the IGBT is turned off. The large DIDT produced by the fast turnoff of the primary coil will induce a large increase in voltage across the primary and secondary coil. The high voltage generated on the secondary coil will cause a spark across the spark plug gap. We can observe the current limiting and soft shutdown features of the system by adjusting the signal generator pulse frequency and pulse width. First, we'll change the pulse width to 50 milliseconds. This will keep the coil charged longer. Once the coil reaches the current limit level, the driver will maintain the current and prevent overheating of the coil. The current limit level can be adjusted by changing the current sense resistor. Consult RD576 for more information on how to make this adjustment. If the system remains in current limit for too long, it will reach the maximum dwell point and a soft shutdown will activate. Here, you can see the current being limited by the driver IC and the coil being slowly shut down to prevent a DIDT induced spark. Fairchild continues to develop new and innovative solutions for automotive designers. Thank you for your time today.